Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add a little bit of magic to your holiday photos using our Pretty Actions Holiday Magic Collection. This collection is super special and pretty amazing, and I'm so excited to show you how to use it in this video. And uh, so we're really just gonna jump right in here. And the first image that we'll be applying um, some of the, the brushes and the overlay too is this sweet little image of the boy sitting outdoors in front of the moon. We're gonna add a little bit of magic coming out of this treasure chest as well. So let's take a real quick look at our collection here. We have our Pretty Actions Holiday Magic Collection. And uh, right here up at the top, we have our Book Glow Applicator in Actions. Notice I added a Book Glow to the suitcase here, so it does not have to be necessarily for a book. Um, but that is what they're called. And we've got some enhancing and some change, uh, change the color actions. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, we have our brush applicator and actions to enhance those as well. We have our actions that set the scene, an uh, insta-dark scene, paint a dark scene, and paint a bright scene. So let's go back up here and see what these actions are all about. Um, so we're gonna create this scene here and just kind of start from the beginning so you can see how these work. So the first thing that we're going to apply is the book glow applicator. And I'm just going to press play. We have our handy dandy pop-up instructions here. So navigate to where you've saved your book glow overlays and select your desired overlay to apply. Okay, so I'm going to select mine. I'm just going to press enter here. Okay, paint with a soft black brush to remove the areas of glow that you do not want to appear. So now I'm going to select my resize tool now that the black square has gone away and I can really see where this is on my image. Now you can hold shift click to keep the image proportions. I kind of want to squish the light here in this photo. So I'm just going to lengthen it and squish it a little bit. Okay, so press enter when I'm done. Let me grab that brush, make sure I have a nice soft edged brush selected. Okay, the action already brings the correct color to the foreground, so I really don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna bring my opacity down to about 50, 46 is fine. And I'm just gonna brush a little bit off the top of the suitcase here. I want it to look like it's coming down through the cracks or the crack uh, right there at the top of the suitcase. I don't want to remove all the glow from the top because it's going to look unnatural. Okay, so I'm just going to keep dabbing um, and painting on the areas where I want to remove it. You can turn that on and off to kind of see how that's looking. And just keep working at it. I think that's looking really nice, actually. I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the Enhance Magic action and see what that does. Okay, continue. I can just turn the eye on and off next to each layer and see what that does. Now we have Make It Warm, but this scene is not warm. It's very, very, it looks like a cool night. So I do want to cool the book, the book glow that I have applied to this suitcase, but I'm actually going to do it through the magic color. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter. Let's just bring the opacity down to zero and kind of work our way up. I'll leave that right around 15. And again, you can turn that on and off just by clicking on the little eye next to each layer. Okay, let's go ahead and click on magic color and press play. Okay, our color picker box will pop up. I'm gonna press continue and okay. So I can move that color picker box out of my way. Notice um, when I click around, I can see that the color of the glow is changing. So that's kind of neat. I'm actually gonna keep it right here where it is. Notice when I turn that on and off, it's just got a nice cool glow uh, or cool color. So I like that. Okay, next I'm going to move down to my brush applicator and select the Holiday Magic Brush Applicator and press play. 
Select your desired brush from the Pretty Actions Holiday Magic Collection and brush your magic where you want it. Okay, so here's where we open our brushes and really get to take a look. If you hover over each brush, you'll be able to see the name of each of those brushes. We have our Magic Dust brush. Uh, next to that, we have our Twinkling Lights brush. The next two are stamps, Sparkle Stamp 1, Sparkle Stamp 2, and lastly, we have our Sparkle Dust brush, okay? The actual brushes, not the stamps, but the brushes, um, will continually stamp uh, and scatter along as you brush along the image. So I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, let's go ahead and select Twinkling Lights. Now it starts off at a size of 400. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring it down to 300. I might change that uh, in just a moment. Let me just see what that looks like. Okay, that's not bad. I'm just creating little swirls. Okay, let me undo that last one. If you see, if you decide you don't like the last brush stroke or the last couple, you can just go back in your history panel and remove what you had applied. So my opacity was not at 100%. I kind of, let's keep it at 90 and see what that looks like. And you can adjust both the flow and the opacity of your brushes just to see uh, how that affects your image. Um, let me remove that real quickly here. I just want that to go up a little further on his hat. I'm gonna go. There might be a lot of, you know, removing an adjustment or removing um, some of the sparkle that you just added and kind of redoing that till you find um, that you're getting the look that you want. There we go. Okay, now if I got, I got a little bit of sparkle on his hat here and I don't want it. <laughs> now, of course, we have a built-in layer mask, so I can just click on that little white square, grab my soft brush, make sure black is the foreground color. I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller and paint the sparkle off of his hat and his face. Not all the way off of his hat, we can leave a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and click back on our layer here because we want to use our brushes again. I really love the look when some of the magic dust is applied over. Um, so I'm just gonna bring the opacity down to maybe 50. Let's keep the size at 400. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's really nice. So I'm just gonna Go right along here. There we go. Okay, so that's looking really, really nice. I love it. Um, okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more here. Okay, one last thing that I want to do with the brushes is use the stamps. So I'm just gonna click on them and kind of resize it. I'm using the left and right bracket keys to resize. Let's bring the opacity back up to 100%. And notice how we're already working with a, a nice uh, night sky with the twinkling stars. So just adding a little bit more of this sparkle into the image is really gonna make it pop. Okay, now if you want your sparkle to kind of change directions as you're stamping, Notice what I had just done. Uh, you can switch the direction that it's facing using that little dial there. Okay, and let's try our brush number one. Okay, and a little bit really goes a long way, so we're not going to go overboard with that. Um, no, I we did add a little bit of sparkle to the book here in the original uh, edit. So let me just bring the opacity down. We can kind of play with that. Let me bring the size down. Okay, so it looks like it's just coming right out of the book there. There we go. Okay, so 
we're gonna keep that as is. Select Enhance Magic, press play. And let's go ahead and play with each of these layers here. Again, we don't wanna make it warm because this is a very cool scene. Uh, I may make it brighter in just a moment, but first I want to run Magic Color. Press continue, okay. I think I wanna go with this the same color that I picked for the book. Um, and I do, because once I brighten it, it's really gonna even out. There we go. Let me just bring that opacity down. Oops. I'm working on the wrong layer. So let me click on my Make Bright layer. Bring that opacity down and just kind of work my way up until I find it's working best for my image. Okay, I really like that. So that was a lot of fun to create. Notice we worked with the overlay, some of the brushes in the stamps as well to create this beautiful magic scene. Also remember that I did run the enhanced magic action before the magic color. Okay, you'll wanna run the magic color after um, the applicators and enhance magic if you're using those. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to our second image. We have some glow and magic just pouring out of this treasure chest. Gorgeous, I love it. And this is um, super fun to work with. So let's go ahead and get started with um, applying our glow to this image. I'm going to click on Book Glow Applicator and press play. We're gonna navigate to where we have that saved. Press place, press enter, and continue. And I'm gonna select my move tool. Um, something that's kind of cool about this being like a complete ray is that you can move it, uh, the ones with the glitter and the bokeh on it, or the sparkle, you can kind of move it until you find that the sparkle is right where you want it um, on uh, your image. So I'm just gonna keep this one right about there and press enter. Okay, so now let's go ahead and select our brush and we'll wanna make sure that we have that soft brush selected again. If you find that something you're doing isn't working correctly, it's probably because you don't have the right brush selected or your brush opacity isn't where you thought it was. So I'm gonna keep this right around 50. Make it larger using my right bracket key. We're just gonna start brushing that glow off of the, the back of the treasure chest here where it would naturally just not be. Uh, again, I'm not brushing 100% because it would just look unnatural. Um, so I'm just gonna start clicking as I get closer. Just dabbing that off. Okay, the light is naturally gonna spill backwards too, so we just want a little bit of that fading out. Okay, now obviously we don't want um, the rays on their faces, and you know what? I wanna make this a little bit bigger, so it's not too late to do that. I'm just gonna grab my move tool, shift click to keep the proportion, and just bring it right back over, yep, I like that. Press enter, go back to my brush, <laughs> and I'm just gonna dab one more time here along the edges. Okay, let's get their faces. I want it all pretty much off of their faces, so I'm just gonna click a few times. When your brush is at a lower opacity, the more you click or go over an area, the more you remove each time. And I'm just kind of breezing through this here. Okay, I do want to remove or lessen the sun rays on the outside of his hat here. I don't want to remove them entirely, but I just want them to be a little bit more faded than they already are. Okay, there we go. So that's really nice. I'm loving that. Um, let's go ahead and run Enhance Magic. Okay, and I do want to make it warm. Um, a little bit too warm, so I'm just gonna click on that layer, bring the opacity down to zero, and work my way up, maybe 28% see if we want to make that brighter. I definitely do. I love a bright glow just coming right out of there. Uh, it just really adds the magic. Um, let's go ahead and skip magic color. I like the warmth that we've got going on here. And I'm going to select the Holiday Magic Brush Applicator and press play. Let's go ahead and select our brushes and have a little bit of fun here. 
Um, this time we're going to select our uh, sparkle dust brush. Okay. And I'm just going to make that, oh, let's keep that right around 300 for the size. Uh, let's bring the opacity up. Again, if you find something's not working, it's going to be the opacity or the brush. So just double check that you have everything set correctly. And I'm just going to slowly, oh, I love that. It looks like the, the magic is just spilling from this treasure chest here. Doesn't that look awesome? So again, I'm just kind of slowly working my way around here. Notice how the sparkle is scattering where I'm um, painting. And the sizes of the sparkle is small and large. It just kind of, it's mixed in there. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my magic dust brush and I'm going to bring the opacity down. Um, just kind of go along the edges here. Just kind of mix that in. Okay, I'm loving it. Again, I'm just kind of dabbing. Uh, if you notice that anything gets on somewhere where you don't want it, their faces or wherever, you can click on the mask, make sure you grab a soft brush and then remove it from that particular area. Okay, so let's go ahead and run Enhance Magic. I'm going to press play and continue. Let's go ahead and make that um, sparkle warm as well. I'm gonna bring the opacity down you wanna make sure you're clicking on the actual layer you're working with if you're going to change that opacity. Okay, we're gonna keep that right around 17%. I'm loving it. Um, and you know what? I'm not quite done with my magic. I just realized, so I'm gonna click back on that layer that says paint magic here, and I can still add a little bit if I want to, um, or a lot <laughs> if I decide, but it just so happens that I just wanna add a little bit. So I'm gonna, I just clicked on my stamp. Okay, I'm gonna bring the opacity back up. And I'm just going to There we go, I love it. That was so easy to add to my image. Really, uh, when using this collection, your imagination is the limit. This collection is just super fun to play with and we put a lot of love and hard work into creating this super special collection for you guys. We hope that you love playing with it just as much as we did making this for you guys and uh, enjoy.